Hey everyone, Sam here. In this web series, we'll solve common web problems with standards. These techniques are part of the web platform and work with any framework or library. All right, let's go. Are you still creating a favicon.ico file, that one from the 90s? You can safely stop it now. Today, especially on mobile, you can make your site stand out with you know, colors and high res, shiny 32-bit color icons. You can specify these modern icons in what we call a web app manifest, or via link rel tags. Or use the manifest plus a polyfill that generates the old icon style. And if you want your site to be added to a mobile phone's home screen, make sure you give a high res icon, something at least 256 pixels wide. The web app manifest can also improve your site if it's been added to a home screen. It can do things like choosing a background color to show before your site is fully loaded, which is pretty cool. One trick I love is you can actually change icons at runtime too. This is actually most useful on desktop. You know, you've probably seen apps like calendars where they'll show you the current date. The rules around which icon will be shown are actually a bit tricky between browsers. So if you want to show a custom image, you're best off just clearing all the icons and adding just one new dynamic one at runtime that's at least 64 pixels wide. Another cool thing for your Android clients is the ability to give the top UI a unique color. This will make your site feel part of the system. My tip, just take the color of your site's header bar and specify this in a meta theme color tag. Remember, use the web app manifest, specify a high res icon for mobile, and use a theme color. This was theming the standard way. See you on the next tip. Where's my warm up? Oh. <laughs>